Hello and welcome to today's book chat. Today I'm going to be talking about the novel A Curve in the Road by Julianne McLean and uh, uh, let's see okay you get the idea. <laughs> um, so actually the reason I picked up this novel is it was an option in a book club I'm thinking of joining and when I read the blurb I realized that it was set in Nova Scotia, did a little, little more research and found out that Julianne McLean is an Oaks Scotian author, just like me, um, and dug a little deeper and actually learned we even went to the same university, though several years apart. Um, and so I decided to pick it up and give it a try. I was seeing this novel all over the place. It's hitting the charts right now, and I was not disappointed. So when the novel first opened, I was hooked by probably about the second or third paragraph, which doesn't happen all the time, but just a certain turn of phrase and I let out a laugh and I felt some affinity with the character and right away I got the feeling that I was really going to enjoy this book. So uh, if you follow my book chats you know I don't tell a lot about the story. Uh, nothing more than you will find in the blurb for sure as far as plot goes generally. So this novel is about a woman, a doctor, who believed she was living pretty much the perfect life and a tragic accident threw that perfect life right out the window and made her question everything she thought she believed for probably the past 20 years or more. And so this is a story that definitely could happen. It's very much set in reality and the characters feel like real people. Uh, probably the only real negative for me in this novel is that the character threw it all through learning some really horrid things about someone she loved. Um, she's a little too nice and even when she had moments where she wasn't uh, so nice or she was angry or jealous or frustrated she was always kind of defending that to herself and uh, if you know me you know I like my characters a little unlikable but um, I did like her and I liked the journey she was on. And I loved the way that Julian McLean had it feel so real. I, I love reality. I love truth in my fiction. And this was there for sure. Uh, toward the end of the novel, I started to get a little worried because it looked like everything was going to wrap up so perfectly and all the tragedy, all the awfulness that had happened was just kind of going to be swept under the rug and life was going to be hunky-dory again. Did I just say hunky-dory? I did. <laughs> um, and so I thought, oh no, I so wanted to love this book. And if this happens, I'm just going to be able to, you know, like it. But thankfully, um, that's not what happened. Uh, without giving anything away, we, we got to see the consequences of the tragedy. We got to see the way that people's lives are irreversibly changed when something awful happens but and this is what I love and this is what I kind of always try to imbue into my own novels um, as a fiction author but there's beauty there there's beauty in the mire beauty in the pain um, actually the past couple of weeks I've been trying to pin down what makes my books you unique and what is it that draws my readers to my stories and so I was looking um, at reviews and trying to see what are people talking about and that's exactly what it is and that's what I love so much about this novel. The last chapter or so I was just highlighting and highlighting and finding such affinity with the ideas that McLean was presenting and the way that the character was seeing life <laughs> after, after the mire, after the pain. Um, I'm actually, I have some quotes that I highlight here and I'm going to say it to you again. I don't think it gives much away, but, you know, well, I won't say it word for word. The idea that people aren't perfect and life isn't perfect, but we can find that joy and we can realize that there's always something good that can come out of every negative if we look at it in the right light, in the right way. Uh, so if that's what you like in a novel, if you, if you don't want that happily ever after, but you want the hope, you want the belief that life can and will get better, then this is a book for you. Again, I really loved it. Um, I'm excited about it. It was really cool to, to see a novelist uh, who's writing in the same province as me and to, to see such, such reality and such truth uh, 
in the story. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'm a little more wordy than usual, I guess, but A Curve in the Road by Julianne McLean. I'll bring it up for you again, and if you want to read some of my thoughts too, you can head over to my website, that's charlenecarr.com. I'll also have a little offer for you there. So yeah, if you read the book, if you've read it already, post in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts, and have a wonderful day. Read on, my friend.